This is Yuki Numata, here for the Claremont Flyby. We are at the Seaver Auditorium on the Pomona campus, where the 5C Hackathon is in full swing. The 5C Hackathon is one of the largest student-run events on campus. Each semester, students form teams and use their knowledge of interface and software design in order to create something awesome. This event is the epitome of a super productive all-nighter. In the morning, teams present their completed projects in front of the judges and their fellow participants. Some examples of projects this semester were a 5C course review app, online order system for the Coop Fountain, and even a kittygram, an Instagram that only allows photos of cats. Um, I've probably been awake for about 40 hours now. Mm -hmm. um, we had a lot of shopping to do this morning to get things ready. Um, so this is the fourth time that we did this. We do this every semester. So we started back my sophomore year in the spring. Why did you decide to make it an overnight event? So it's for several reasons. First of all, logistic-wise, it's much easier to rent out buildings overnight. We can kind of take over where we want. Um, but we also think it really adds kind of to the excitement of the event. Obviously, people are tired. Um, but kind of having that environment where you and like hundreds of other people are in a building together, you know, eating like, you know, fruit and like going to a food truck, you know, coding on things. It's just, it makes it so much more exciting when you're like, hey, it's four o'clock in the morning. We're the only ones awake on campus. Um, and I think it's really much more bond of a bonding experience that way. Um, we have kind of toured with the idea of doing it during the day, but we just feel like there'd be a lot more conflicts, people would be less likely to come, um, and it would really kind of cut down on that like really novel, fun aspect of it, that you're really part of this community that no one else is. Over half of our participants were beginner teams, half of which had never coded before they came here, and they were all able to make it through the night and build really cool things. Um, it's basically yeah. a voice control system, it's like Siri, but it's a computer. Uh, we also add some other features as well, so you can actually teach teach the our system to, to know more, more stuff. So in Siri, like you can not really teach it to learn new stuff, but here mm -hmm. we can actually uh, teach teach the system to learn new stuff. We also link, um, we also have a feature where you can like, link your phone to your computer, so when you call some people, you get it directly linked to your phone, so you can call it. Um, like, it was like, kind, of, kind of like a group teamwork, because uh -huh. like, we were doing like set different stuff at yeah. first, like different aspects of the function. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we made um, an app that looks at where you are like, at any given point in time and then uses that location data to ask Spotify or for... SoundCloud. Sorry, SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long night. <laughs> All right, to ask SoundCloud for the... for artists who are based in that area and then place tracks based on those artists. So if you're going on a road trip or if you're in a new place or if you just want to hear artists like in your hometown that you might not have heard before, you can... Use our app. <laughs> the concept was like a local music radio, kind of like a kind of thing that lets people explore SoundCloud, which has so much like great music on it, but in a way that's not very intimidating. You know, it just plays a song. Uh -huh. Like excited to put the app on the App Store. Yeah. And I had a really good time seeing what everyone else like put out. You know, like I think a lot of the ideas that like we saw were like. I was just like so much more impressed with what some people were doing than what we yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it, and it's also it's also nice to like really be forced to focus on just doing <laughs> development because a lot of other times when you're sitting around, you're like, oh, this is due tomorrow, so I like eh, I don't need to work on it, or like you're less encouraged to work on side projects just like when you have all these other schoolwork going on. So, although many participants in the hackathon have previous experience, it is a very beginner-friendly event as well. Part of the event is a week-long crash course in coding, where student teachers walk you through the process of building a fully featured web application from the ground up. So we saw some really great ideas and really cool projects inside today. But what I was most impressed by was the fact that they stayed up all night trying to finish these amazing projects when I had trouble waking up in the morning just to even come do this report. Well, that's all we have for today. This has been Yuki Numata reporting for CCTV. We'll see you again next time.